Hey, what's up, folks? We're going to take a quick detour through the awesome world of build tools and Mapbox GLJS because they're breaking right now for various build tools, and I've run into this, and you might be running into this too. Now, we're going to be checking out Webpack and Parcel because those are my favorite build tools at the moment, and if you have different favorite build tools, first, your build tools are wrong, but second, you might run into the same, these same issues because it's having to do with uglify and tree shaking and stuff that your build tools might be doing as well. So let's take a look at Webpack because that is everyone's number one. And look at this. This is GLJS built with the defaults using Webpack and this reference error E is not defined is what a lot of people are getting. And I'm using Webpack 4 here but it doesn't appear like the version of Webpack matters. When you see an error from GLJS that have this, this blob source to it, that's probably the web worker that is giving you the error, which is no good. So to fix that, going to go into your Webpack configuration because Webpack is not zero configuration, I don't care what they say. And you're going to add this no parse and give it a a regex path that's going to pick up any JavaScript from that from Mapbox GL. Save that. We're going to run our build again. And it's going to do its thing. And almost there. Almost there. It's going. Now we go back over here and refresh this page. And we got a map and everything's happy. Uh, the Webpack one was tricky because it would actually works fine in development mode, which means there's some combination of tree shaking and uglifying that was causing the problem. And credit to Zezhipeng, I apologize, I'm sure that's wrong, for uh, figuring this out. And what this no parse does in Webpack is it says just, uh, don't parse that file. Don't 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 screw around with that file, Webpack, with your tree shaking and weirdness. And that's what fixes that problem. Now, it seems like Uglify is a part of it because there are error reports from uh, Browserify using Uglify. Uglify. I'm already talking about things that you already know what Uglify is based on what if you're interested in this at all. But it just mangles your JavaScript to make it tinier. And yeah, something was not good happening there. And GL, Map, Mapbox's approach to this has been uh, your build tool can copulate with itself. And I, I can kind of understand that they're building a library and if the library works until your build tool screws around with it, that's kind of a problem with your build tool. On the other hand, everybody's using these build tools, so it makes it harder to use GLJS, which probably isn't in their best interest, but I can understand why they're coming with that approach. Now, another project I run into problems with is Parcel. And to be fair, Parcel, as far as I can tell, has never worked with GLJS. And I, it, it just hasn't. And so I, I really haven't used it for very much. I tried using it a while ago and then saw it didn't work with GLJS. And it's been many, many version releases later and it still breaks on GLJS. Let's look at a project that does that over to this quality of life embed project. And let's see. The the the, the package the package.json for parcel projects is just so gorgeous because it, it's really zero config and it's it's like toolkit. It's like already in parcel and it, it, it just works. It's it's I really really like parcel. To me, it's either parcel or or a whole bunch of different command CLI commands to, to get everything to work with Webpack. Now, this is what parcel looks like, but if I run parcel like this, and this is uh, using Mapbox GL 0460. Okay, localhost 3000. Uh, oh, it already opened it for me over here. 
Look at that. You get this type of is not defined. And again, when you see this blob from GLJS, that's generally the worker, the web worker that's saying no, just no. So this is no good. This is this is not what we want. Uh, this this will make people unhappy. So I did a lot of trial and error experimenting with this, and it turns out the problem with this is something to do with the combination of Babel and Parcel, and how Parcel is using Babel. Uh, Babel, if we just stick to the defaults, and I'm including the defaults here, which also include all these other things, it breaks uh, something in GLJS. It breaks this type of. Essentially, this type of isn't getting defined in the service, not service worker, in, in the web worker, or the worker. There's a lot of workers on the web, I, I, I don't know. But it's not happy with that. If you, and what's being included here that's breaking it is Internet Explorer and the Android browser. It's just those two. If you include either one with your Babel transpilation, it breaks GLJS. If we take off defaults, so now I just have in here hard coded. Last two versions of Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and Safari, which to me is good. It's going to rebuild over time. I also set as the server here not to cache, so it would uh, uh, force rebuild everything from parcel. Uh, that's why it's a little bit slow. But you see, we got a map and everything's happy. It's something about how Parcel is dealing with Babel and Babel's support for IE and uh, the Android browser. And that brings up an interesting point because should we really be supporting IE 11 anymore? There's some good articles, a whole bunch I read kind of on the same subject. And one of it was this, last two versions considered harmful. By default, uh, Babel was transpiling. Uh, their default list included all of this shit. It, we got like the QQ browser 1.2, uh, IE Mobile 11, Jesus, the Baidu browser, uh, Samsung Internet 4. It's just all this UC browser for Android 11.8. What? It's actually surprisingly popular for some reason. I don't even know what that is. Is supporting all this stuff, and that's that's just a, a lot of stuff you probably don't want to support. When you have to transpile to those, if there's a feature that the crappiest browser in this list doesn't support, it transpiles that, and every browser, even if it's modern, gets shipped that transpiled code, which is going to be bigger, and it's probably going because it's not using the new native stuff, is going to be slower. So you're really screwing everybody for QQ Browser 1.2 here, which you maybe don't want to do. There are some other articles on, on this, which I've been reading, like a bloatless web talks about some ways to, it does, it's basically approach where you include polyfills if the browser sucks. So you just test for something like the, uh, the reflect, that a namespace I think I don't know but it's something only modern browsers hit you see IE goes nope I don't know what that is so then it loads a whole bunch of polyfills the problem with that approach is there's some things you can't polyfill and one of those things is template literals that are part of ES6 and I love me some template li template literals that's might be my favorite thing from ES6 so but if you're not using things that you can't poly for, this can be another approach as well. But what I've done to fix this in Parcel is I'm just supporting the last two major versions of the modern browsers, including Edge. Because Internet Explorer 11, it's kind of in a tough spot because it's supposed to be supported for as long as the Microsoft operating system, which is the last one to to run that browser so ie11 is supported as long as windows 10 is 
and Windows 10 is evergreen. It's the last version of Windows in theory, which means IE 11 lives forever. Right now it's like 2.7%. So for parcel, looks like the only solution I could find is just dropping support for i11 and Android browser. And I think I can live with that. That's that's all the modern stuff. And you're really not doing anybody a whole lot of favors when you help them stick on IE 11 because, you know, it's, it's crap. So those are how you fix these two GLJS build problems for Webpack and for Parcel. The Webpack solution is a little nicer because you can support IE 11 and, and basically the Babel defaults if you want to. Uh, the one for Parcel is not quite as nice. One thing for Parcel I found, which I don't really like, is that you really can't turn the Babeling off. A Babel preset ENV is part of Parcel, and it's just going to run through that sucker. And I don't really like that for everything. But if you stick just the last version, last two versions of the modern browsers in here, it's not going to transform a whole lot and your package is should be still fairly fall, small and fairly fast. Anyway, that's how I solved those two problems in my two different projects. Uh, you will run into those problems if you're using Webpack and Parcel and that's how you can fix them. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.